Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we will be reacting to Solo Leveling Episode 10, which means I believe we have two episodes left until this season's over, and things are getting pretty interesting. So in the last episode, all of the original members that went to the double dungeon in that first episode were summoned to come to this new dungeon and help clear it out, and they weren't alone. They also had the help of like three prisoners that were brought there and if they were on their best behavior then they would have their sentence shortened and they came there with the like overseer that would watch over the prison guards named Tai Shik. I thought one of the prisoners were just gonna say screw the sentence lowering like I want blood and they were gonna go after Jin Woo but it turned out that the overseer Tai Shik he was the actual problem and Jin Woo had to take him out after we found out that he was this deranged murderer. And then lastly, of course, we have the deal with Jin Hu, where if we help him clear these dungeons, then Jin Wu's gonna get a fat stack of two billion won, or two million, I don't remember exactly, but it's a lot of won, or whatever currency they have. Regardless, brand new episode here, let's dive right into it. If you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like. While you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I drop a new solo leveling video. And if you head on over to the Patreon and join the $2 tier, then you will get access to all of my uncut reactions, including this series right here. But with that all out of the way, let's dive into this episode. Okay. Jin Wu and Juhi. Hey, but all that matters is that you've never, you know, left your teammates behind. Unlike some other hunters. Yeah. <laughs> I'd imagine it probably is. Yeah。もうそこ。私引退することにしました。実家に帰ります。もし近くに寄られることがあったら連絡してください。案内しますね。Wow, so she's accepting the suggestion that I think her mother gave her on the phone. Even though she seemed to be very against it earlier. Oh, but there you go. Clearly she's not happy about it. But, I guess, real quick pause, I guess the question is whether she's unhappy about the fact that she's going to go back with them, or if she's unhappy about the fact that she might need to leave uh, Jin Woo behind. Probably a little of both. He's about to say that's kind of obvious. Oh, yeah, he's coming after you. Okay, shout out to this guy. Shout out to him for warning Jin Woo. And this man's S ring. So we got to catch up quick. Yep, oh my god. Wait. And they actually brought this up. I think when he asked his assistant, you know, what would happen if I went over there and killed somebody? And I think they said, like, well, it's not going to look good, but, I mean, it won't be the end of the world. We can make some things happen. And he was like, all right, set up a flight. We're going back to Japan, or to Korea. One of the monsters that even monsters do. Sir. Hmm? Alright, fire start to the episode, I'm not gonna lie. Another dungeon. Hey, Jinho! 
So is this our first dungeon that counts towards the... I think it was like 14 or 20 that we had to do in a row? Oh, yep, it definitely is. Yep. Oh, she looks mysterious. Injured people and drunks. Ooh. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. <laughs> yeah, we'll go in and clear it. Dang, three million per raid, that's a deal! All they gotta do is chill outside, but it seems like she wants to get in the action. And why does this girl look familiar? Hold on, hold on. The stealth rune stone that I got by beating Kong Tai Sheik. Okay. Um... I was gonna say, that girl looks a little familiar, and correct me if I'm wrong, but is she Jin Wu's sister's friend? The one that, when she was hearing about Jin Wu getting beat up in the dungeons all the time, she said like, man, if I was a hunter, I wouldn't be getting messed up like Jin Wu. And if it is her, I think it's actually pretty ironic, the fact that she was talking such a big game and now that she actually is a hunter she's an e-rank hunter so regardless i'd love to see her grow and uh get to that point where she can be a formidable hunter can't help but laugh at the fact that uh you know the tables have kind of turned on her it's kind of like karma now he's got stealth okay <laughs> <laughs> right after we use the stealth stone, this dude. That armor is fire, though. Yep. That armor won't carry you out here, though. Look, he can't even get up, bro. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Just be glad that this happened now instead of in the dungeon. Uh, you don't know who you're talking about, buddy. Yep, it is her. Okay, okay. Look, they're done already. They're luring the monster out. Oh no, they're done. <laughs> Look at him, cool, calm, and collected. Ooh. Hold on. Look at that. See, like I said, they don't know who they were messing with. Or I guess who he was talking about. Look at one-handed? He has one hand in his pocket. He's slicing him up. Look at that. Goblin King down. Racking up some levels. Alright. We're out here really grinding. Ooh, this OST, man. Oh, no, you're not going anywhere, buddy. Sorry. He tried to run, though. He's smart. Oh, my... Dude, those vocals. Yeah, good thing he has a portable shop, <laughs> so he can just buy more with all the money he's making. Or no, actually, he's not getting paid, is he? He doesn't get paid until after? I'm sure Jin Ho's got to be giving him something. Job change, no way. So what is he, like an assassin right now? A rogue? Don't tell me we're going to be seeing a mage, Jinwu. That'd be crazy. Oh, the higher-ups are catching wind. 
聞いたことない名前だな友人建設会長の次男だそうです友人建設の yeah, now he knows. 赤字だぞボンボンのおふざけにしては度が過ぎているソンジーの Oh, ソンハンターはサンドも第三次に遭遇したのにチュールああのいけんはいれまちロンガーフタツメはファンドンソクコンゲキタイゼンメンチュールフクエキシューサツガイシケンデンウォーデスプレッツファーストマンデスエヴリ
これを逃せばしばらく C 級には参加できないとお考えください。Oh, dang. バオリモンクだな。バエツわかりました。おいくらですか一つあたり三億で。3 million apiece。3億 ?Wait! Let me go back and check. おいくらですか一つあたり300 million! Good God! Okay, never mind. Let me shut up. <laughs> okay, now things are making sense. Oh my god! Doesn't look like this guy has much of a choice. I don't trust that. Close your eyes and open your mouth. What the heck is that? Oh. Why do you have to close his eyes then? I like the way Jin Woo does business. He doesn't beat around the bush. Ah oh, man. He's only getting even more interested. Dang! Oh, oh, okay, okay. Jesus, yeah, he scammed the heck out of him. I thought all those emails were like offers people were giving him to try to buy up those last three gates. Yeah. Ah, man. Got him good. Oh no. Dang, okay. Cruising. This was a dope episode, man. That was cool. A lot of business moves being made here. And I'm really interested in the fact that this guy's so interested. The fact that he knows how scary Jin Wu is, but that only wants him. Or that only makes him want to recruit him even more. Like, okay, we have to get this guy in our guild. Because once we do, we'll be unstoppable. Alright, so that was the end of the episode. And my question of the day for you guys is going to be, what are you guys' thoughts on this interesting new turn of events here that we have? I'm pretty sure all of us thought that this was going to come eventually. But we have our first scouter that's looking for a talented new hunter to bring into his group. He's chosen Jin Wu, and it seems like he's chosen right. The only problem is, does he really have what it takes to handle Jin Wu? Because Jin Wu knows he's in a power position. He knows how badly this guy wants to get him on his side. So he's in a position now where he can negotiate however the heck he wants. He is going to be given a lot of leniency, and he doesn't really have to commit to anything if he truly doesn't want to, because who's going to make him join the guild? The only way he'd be able to join is if they can give him a sweet enough deal. And so far it doesn't seem like they're able to do that. But maybe down the line, this guy might be able to come up with some plan to bring Jin Woo over to his side. But we'll have to see. But with that, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.